Hello everyone, and um, welcome back to La Molana 2, where I forgot to actually prepare anything. <laughs> Proper planning, Graham. Proper planning. I'm Ranjaku. Um, Dark is here with me as usual. Probably to laugh at me or something. Oh, so, always. Let's go to Toros of Yggdrasil. Because there's actually one more castle we cannot run right now. Not counting the giant fucking dragon. <laughs> Sometimes the whip is still better. You're an archaeologist. The whip is your most powerful weapon. Yeah, especially one, especially once it's fully upgraded. <clears throat> yeah, remember this area? We never really got there because when we first got into the room, well, just a switch. Deep in the hole in the floor. Some, somebody bring me a stick. I tried to push it and my hand got stuck and I up and die. High five. Yeah, um well we can awfully happy, awfully cheery for having died. We can technically use earth spears for that, but I'm just going to do it the easy way. Or rather the cheap way. I don't like this place. No shit! Well, I know how to avoid it. Like this. Ow. <laughs> and then you stand in front of that. Possessor of the figurine of prayer. Pray that the memory of this moment may remain. Hmm, no comment on that? No? Okay. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> the picture on that tablet, I've seen it before. It's a tool for praying that we seven children used. It's called the totem pole. If you have that, you should be able to record things on the whole, to the holy grail. It's like a special holy grail tablet. It's similar to the replica of the holy grail tablet in the village, but it looks like it can only record locations. Hmm. That button is very tempting, isn't it? Yeah, but it's probably a bad idea. Proceed Man, they are for either death or heaven. <laughs> Jesus, they're just thrashing you. Yeah, I wanted to show it off, but you know. Actually, let's go there later. I want to get some coinage. Some what? Money. Also, now that I think about it... Were we able... Yeah, I think we were able to go here now. Maybe. God damn it. God damn bats. Not to self, remember which weapon you have. Also remember to jump. It does help. Okay, so this is that. Remember those two guys we killed? Yep. It is nice to have a health bar. <laughs> Seriously. You are dead! And what is that I'm probably supposed to have here? So let's, let's read a codex entry by that one. Oh uh, yeah. That's a mini boss so we need to find it. I just swore I dropped one. I mean, it dropped a lot of money. Mm. That was a bit close. 
Cuenta Dolman, Candao, Cante Way and stuff. Down there. Because we, Maybe. Kept, because we kept hitting Loki. Dissonance lingers were children of the same seed are in conflict. When the calamity that governs conflict disappears, dissonance will be released and the stone with a face swallows it. First of all, shortcut! Second of all, I want to go remember what was down there. Oh. We Just haven't actually... We technically haven't been here. We were over there. Seek to proceed. No shit. Oh hey, it's the Caltrops. Literally useless. Our old friend from Tiamato, I never really figured out how to properly use. Let's go heal. Probably a good idea. We did just finish off a miniboss. Yeah, that too. Discovered with enemies. Have we killed any of these guys? Yeah. And oh, by the way, remember how in the first game all but one of the bosses were in the front side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Well, just gonna jump right in. Oh boy. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Glub, glub. Glub, 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 you're a fish. Actually, I should probably save my shurikens for when I go fight Nidhogg. This guy is not nearly as difficult as Nidhogg. I say yes, I'm already... Yeah, let's say... He's only giving you a complete utter thrashing. Yeah, but that's just because I keep falling onto the water. <laughs> That is what we in the industry call unfortunate. Ow. If I wasn't bad at and getting hit by contact, that would also help. But it we don't might. have one advantage. We can just keep trying. <laughs> Auto saves. Yep. At least he doesn't start with a full bar. I mean, it is like the second boss. I should really remember to avoid contact damage. Yes! You should! And then that happened.
Yeah. Probably also try to avoid going swimming. Yes, Dead. probably. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I don't have as much mobility once I start attacking me there. Mm, I'm getting messaged. That's probably a bad time for it. Oh yeah, you can check on that after you're done here. Well, done with this episode. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Ram. That is what is colloquially known as a fuck you in particular. Something like that. See, I just had to get used to it again. Whack. Yeah, you had to open your mouth, didn't you? Yeah, he's speeding up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, man. You should have played it safe and kept using the shurikens. Trolley. Missed it by that much. I just don't want to waste shurikens because I need like 50 of them to deal with Nidhogg. Can't you just buy more? Yes, but still. And money is an infinite resource. Unlike in real life. Yeah, but suddenly I don't have a money fairy, so it's... Kind of not yet. Indeed, not yet, but I probably won't for a while. I left that to avoid it and I ended up getting hit anyway. Who are you, player? Speeding up! Close. See, I yeah, told you I could save up on shurikens. Britra, but the adventure continues. Mm. Hey, that's the second boss. Yep. And we get a full heal. Also, this looks ominous, doesn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. Before we check on the message, Skill Sphere! <laughs> it's a boss kinda reward. Useful. Hmm? They're kinda useful. Yeah, just, just a bit, being immune to poison weather. This is Samaranta. I received your contact information for MTL then. I have a message from Arcedana. I have something to give you. Sorry. I have something to give you. Come back up above ground. Okay. Which one was that? The old one. 
if you're afraid of the dead one. Yeah. You said like the dead one. That's oh, the not quite dead yet one. Yeah. Also, I mean, he may as well be. He's sitting there waiting for death. Also, look over there. Over. Over the hot spring. There's a uh, one of the glossary entries. Oh yeah, now that I see it. It's hidden behind the rafters. Yep. We'll get there eventually once we have double jump. Ah, oh, you're back. It seems you defeated the Guardian of Valhalla. Did anything strange happen? Did you see some sort of reddish black mist? That is no. the source of conflict itself, and the physical embodiment of the entity causing Englana to be eternally embroiled in war. It comes from dissonance which has been building up for centuries while the various races fight among themselves. The warring races must be relieved of this dissonance, or Eglana cannot be sealed off. Even though still remaining within Eglana no longer know why they continue to fight, the original causes of these wars differ from race to race. We need to find the cause of the wars with 25 remaining races, or we won't be able to find the source of the negativity. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it is only you, the eight children, free from the memory of the mother, who can accomplish this. Take this with you. The fairy queen told me that you can use this to absorb the dissonance. Beherita, why? I've grown weary from all this talk. Please excuse me, I'd like to rest. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. It seems as though these six children have hold power in Eglana. The Fairy Queen and Heril call also of the six children, but their views differ from, th from other six children. They must be of a different tribe. Unlike other children, it is said that the six children were split into different races. If you could distinguish not only between different races but different tribes too, then it might become easier to solve riddles. No shit. So what you're saying is that Eglon is full of the noise. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. Noise and dissonance. I think that was more like noise and disharmony on that episode, but, eh. I mean, you've always described it as a literal dissonance, so, blare. Either way. This is a usable item. And now it's got red eyes. Hmm. Hidden. Also, that screen. Mm-hmm. Of interesting, but we had in fact found a, a soul gate with two with two uh, glowing circles. Remember? Mm -hmm. All right, we can use the shortcut. I think we have made a shortcut. Yeah, right over here. That we still cannot use. Did we ever grab snapshots? Mm, no. We need more money. Lots of it. Yeah, that's about right. But first, we need to go over here. Where does this go? Welcome to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. Whoops. Fun. Snow in ruins like this? I've never seen snow before. It's cold right now, Slippery. These boots I'm wearing are slip proofs in the snow. Change shoes and you won't slip around. All this soft snow falling makes me want to jump right into a big pile of it. This is where the second children once lived. A 
as they are no more, we six children live here now. It is said that a giant named Sakid was made to shoulder the blame for all of the dissonance of the second children. This story is from ancient times however, so Sakid is likely long dead. Okay, she, she says other things later, I think. So I forgot to read this. This is the destroyed branch. It has no counterpart. A female Locapala? Yeah. A beautiful Locapala woman who tired of battle and moved to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. It is said that her beauty caused her sworn enemy, the Fairy King Frey, to fall in love with her at first sight. She cares for people more than politics, having little interest in what occurs in Eglana. Oh, so ain't she just sweet. Something. <laughs> yep, we sleep. Oh, hello. Okay, then. The fuck some more again. That. A demoness. The goddess of destruction darting across the battlefield. She is a crow that usually takes the form of a beautiful woman with long black hair, throwing her male opponents off guard. One of three forms that make up the Badvata. I don't know, I'd still shoot it in the head. But I've always been believed an equal opportunity in the Yeah. Baba Yaga. Witches said to live in the center of the forest. They slide across the floor atop ice mortars, using a broom to push themselves along. If you break their mortars, they will become enraged, striking at you with their brooms. Or you can just shoot them in the head and call it a day. Thank you for the free I'm not saying murder is the best solution. I'm not saying murder is the best solution, but I am saying it solves a lot of problems. Also, why is Frosty such an asshole? A Yeti. Yeti are cloaked in a shaggy coat of smooth, dense hair that could be mistaken for a single piece of fabric. They will attack you with ice and snow. That's an interesting depiction of a Yeti. Yeah. It's a cute depiction of a Yeti. Oh no. What? Oh, phew, I'm saved. Look at how many weights I have. Oh. Not the cat, the raven of war, part the queen of demons, Morgan, part the red-haired Maka, and yet part the venomous minion. When the trio of goddesses combine their power, the bad path shall appear. So Morgan is a mini boss. Morrigan is part of a mini boss. <laughs> okay, a mini mini boss. Come on. <laughs> well, I can at least do one thing. For one, I can grab that entry. For two, I can, can break one? this one. Yeah, we grabbed one, another one a minute ago. For one of those hoppy little things. Frosty, you're an asshole. Yep. Just letting you know. But more importantly. Also. Yeah, I figured. How far you, you you dive in determines how deep you go. <laughs> Here I lie after being chased by forests for so long. I will not convert. I will not. I won't. <laughs> okay. Also, that's a weapon there. 
Yep. Light leaks from between the mirror shin pillars. That's a useful thing to remember. Hey, more shurikens. Yeah, we're going to, need to reach that from a wolf. And we don't have. Probably go get weights first. Yeah, I was just hoping to get like one so I could open that. Now imagine wearing the kind of outfit you've got her wearing in, in conditions like these. She'll be fine. Alright, uh, damn, bro. That's cold, literally. I mean, she's an archaeologist. Where's the spirit of adventure? As in, dead spirit of adventure and being, I don't know, two thirds naked in the, in the freezing snow. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we had a few to read anyway. Wellapin. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. Its hair is grown to help it resist the cold. It is relatively small for a cow and prances over the snow covered ground with ease. That is a tiny ass cow. Yep. Unger. They look like frogs, but actually spirits known as rainbow serpents. The Chimera experiments gave them their arms and legs. In fact, they wield boomerangs with astonishing dexterity. Yep, and of course. And Ninian, the venomous goddess of war. She spreads fear across the battlefield, turning allies against one another. She's able to discern the souls of those who will die in battle and is gentle to those for whom death is close. One of three forms that make up Battle of Ka. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So she's an asshole who turns everyone against each other, but then she's nice to you if you're about to die. Man, you should really go heal. Eh, we're not taking that much damage yet. Wait, did I break this? So, does the, this wall look familiar? Symbols on it, sort of. Alright, we don't have the map yet, so I can show you the name of it. Oh, she did not appreciate that. Okay, fine. Uh, almost dead. Yeah. I was too busy laughing at the Baba Yaga flailing her broom around. <laughs> and yeah, you barely made that one. Trying to remember how much snapshots costs. They're hella heavy. I'm gonna go check. Okay. Of course, now they drop a wind. Mm hmm. Mm. 
Nice landing. More like lucky. Can't really do much with that yet. Must we just need to get up there? And not get whacked. You mean like that? Yeah. Alone. Oh, I just wanted to have someone to dance with. No. <laughs> it's not my type anyway. That oof. Oh no. Oh no. Sound that make us funny. Mm-hmm. Right, plan number two. Much better. Yeah, that looks so much better. Hey, we can afford it. Have you bought this have you bought the snap up? I'll have you know I made that up. A few years ago, the entire disc was stolen, and so I lost access to it completely. It's enough for taking photos. It not only takes photos, it's also able to read ancient text, hidden in the photos as well. It's an exceptional piece of software. Try it out if you happen to come up to come up on a mirror or some such. We've seen a few of those, haven't we? Yeah. Like right over yeah. here. Tim totally found it lying on the floor. Totally. Carbon oh, enough of your bullshit. So I would say. You know what? I'm just gonna go the other way. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm just, sa just saving a bit on weights. Hey, we got a mantra. Yep. There's some really amazing beasties out there. There's these things called room guards. I protect the more important rooms in this room here ruins. Taking them out might get you somewhere or something nice, but you need to get your strength up before taking down the big bad ones. You need a lot of HP of weapons, stuff like that. Also confidence. Yeah, he's probably talking about Nidhogg right up there. <laughs> Probably. Looks like you were able to get your hands on mantra thanks to my app. But there's a bit of a problem. You can use the mantra apps to record mantras like the ones in the La Morena ruins. But you need a relic called the Jet Pillar to use a mantra. Once you acquire the Jet Pillar, you'll finally be able to use mantras, you know, once we have actual mantras. Speaking of which, we've seen one more mural in the Divine Fortress. Ribbit. Indeed. And mind the iron we are. Yep. Well, don't worry. We won't be here for long anyway. The Acer spoke yeah. of the scattered stars of what is known as heaven. Those who seek must speak the name of Himin. Recorded the mantra of Himin. So, yeah, now if we. You know, actually, activate the mantra. Mantra, the runes, the reading, the meaning, and the second meaning. What do you think the alternative meaning of heaven is? We'll find out. But a lot of people did miss that the first time around. What, the fact that there's a second meaning? Yeah. First of oh, all, so many 
waits for this area. Yeah. You, you, you know what this music reminds me of? Mm hmm. Fall through. Makes sense. Just, just that upbeat, cheery, fast tone. Makes you think of some of the Tohu tunes. Hmm. Well. Gee, I wonder what was in that box. I'm just gonna save myself a wait. And now, Dark Star Lord's Footprint. It's got the same name, even. Hmm. I wouldn't remember individual room names, I'll tell you that. Yeah, but I, I did point it out when we found the one in, in the Rules of Yggdrasil. Because it's kind of an ominous name, also. There is a fairy who bends weapons to its wing. They who bring the weapon fairy Kyra will very, very surpass the potential. Well, we know her name now. Yep. You tried. Hey, healing. I'm going to need that probably. Probably. Out of the car. I'm gonna save that one for a moment later. I thought I could find the cute little girl waiting to be rescued. Yeah, about that. A, pi a pillar polish to our mirror sheen. The means to grab onto it and swing around. The tool to grab onto walls lies where fire and ice rage. But more importantly... There's one of the... Two and three. They were kind of beating the shit out of you. Not surprising. I should have figured. I'm gonna wait a bit for the... Probably a good idea. I mean, probably could beat her, but we're a bit ahead of ourselves here, and I'm not too... Mostly came here for something else. So I completely forgot to heal before going up there, that might have been relevant. Well, you got a full heal uh, on your way up. Oh yeah, I need to grab that again. That which is correct goes on skid. That which is mistaken receives justice by sword. Yeah, let's go um, grab that thing again and then heal. Possibly at the same time. Slippery floor is not helping. Need to read that that's again. kind of what ice does. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Enjoyed it down, did you? 
I mean, not really. But it fooled me. We came down like a brick. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, you didn't fly pretty good for a brick. Yeah, bricks <laughs> have a tendency to not fly very good. Hey, Chief flew pretty good. Chief is not a brick. Hey, uh, Sergeant Johnson begs to differ. For a brick, he flew pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and get the thing I've been meaning to get from the Shrine of the Giants, even though it will probably take like all my weights again. Yeah, we read that one already. Opening that is probably not very relevant since it just leads down there. Life is begotten of the cold soil. The virtue lies in, the, in depths of deep, deep snow. Can you figure out what we're supposed to do here? Because that no. doesn't take us deep enough. Wow, he was determined to throw that a boomerang at you. Spirit resembling a human, the aura that cloaks their bodies guards them against all forms of attack. They strike back by releasing their aura, at which point they become vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So I guess we might as well, no? since you've already seen it. A goddess in the form of a crow and a true form of three goddesses, Morgan, Maka, and Nimian, combined. She wields the magic powers of all three in addition to even more advanced ice magic. Looks mostly like Morgan, to be honest. She's kind of a bitch. No shit. The dissonance of the second children lies squarely on the unforgivable sin at Sakit's shoulders. This unforgivable sin was to slay one of his own, bringing about the destruction of his race. To be fair, it's not like it's not like he was he was entirely guilty. Guilty there. You know what fucking I'm going the other way. <laughs> Full heal. Fuck off. Up. Oh. Don't mind me, I'm a Thomas. Well done. Ten out of ten. At least this saved. Yeah, just mind the Yuki Ona. Don't worry, I did. I'm gonna go read that again, just so it's smart. Same for those. Do we have anything else here? No. Not yet, at least. Yeah, you see why I said it would probably use all my remaining weights. <laughs> this is a place is literally pressure plates. The, uh, the labyrinth. Yep. And I really not hear that from them. Oh well. Weird CG. We need that for stuff. Yeah, totally. 
There is technically one more thing we can do here. We do not have enough weights for it though. And you, send me more weights. You know what, I'm just gonna spend all my money. And make it angry. Alright. We have enough time for... Is her major malfunction? You spend enough money on her as it is. Well, that's one of the uses for the sigil, I guess. <coughs> Dreamy. Um, are, are, are you alright? Yes. Your mic is kinda breaking. No, my cord was getting jarred by a certain feline companion that lives with me. Ah. A pale are created with stones in a weft pattern were built here in this land where the winds rage. However, it's easily breakable. It's hollow, so one would be able to climb inside from where the pillar was broken. That's it. We kind of figured part of that out. Mm -hmm. Anyway. There was a hint on, in the room with the weapon about where the shimmering light shines. Ah, you don't say. Also, the guild app telling me there's a hidden shop here. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't exactly qualify it as a shop directly. Vertical General! Keep your stanky ass out of here, stanky ass punk. Look at the pixel down there. Yeah, I see it. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Now if you stop getting your ass thrashed for five minutes, and read your messages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we found a fading. To think they've been entrapped and sold off. What a curious shop owner. He doesn't seem able to hold a normal conversation. Apparently there's some sort of pass required in order to get past this ones and start doing business. It's a bit of a hassle, but we're gonna have to buy these fairies back to save them. Also, fill the hollow pillar once again. That's a different hollow pillar. Yeah. Pull up the codex entry on that jank ass bitch before you die, at least. <laughs> that works. Well, first of all, he's local Pala. Mm -hmm. A member of the local Pala who left his former life to live at the Shrine of the Frost Giants. In exchange for allowing him to leave, the local Pala have him work as the Shrine's caretaker. Though that doesn't appear to have excited exc him much either. Yeah, he kinda just sealed himself off. Huh? And you're still yeah. sounding weird. Anyway. The eldest of three odd brothers who captured the last of the fairies. No one knows his race nor origins. He answers him spoken to, but is extremely rude. That's the word for it. Baked bean looking head. Mm -hmm. In fact, the place where the tablet was pointing to is right over there. But, okay. you know, we can't really get there from here. Yeah, and you won't be able to make it to all those guys anyway with your help. Yeah. Basically, it's saying that we need to break the pillar, but. You know what's on the other side of that pillar. What's on the other side of that pillar? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting that now. And this is why I need so many weights. Yo, good luck with that shrine shape in the center. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the. And totem pole things with some on an oven. Huh. Either way. Rapier acquired. 
And with that, it's I it's hope you're swiping the rapier. Kinda. Uh... Anyway, and with that, I hope you'll have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Later.